Hey everyone, Brenda here from Roaming and Recording. Today we're thrilled to take you on an amazing adventure to the Orkney Islands of Scotland. This destination is a must-see for any history and travel enthusiast, and we think it deserves a top spot on your bucket list. This stunning archipelago is located off the northeastern coast of Scotland, where the North Sea meets the Atlantic Ocean. At the heart of the Orkney Islands is Kirkwall, the main town and a hub of historical significance. Kirkwall is home to three incredible Neolithic sites that date back to over 3100 BC. Neolithic, or New Stone Age, refers to the last phase of the Stone Age, characterized by the development of agriculture and the use of polished stone tools. Let's start with Scarabray, one of the best preserved Neolithic villages in Europe. Scarabray, often referred to as the Scottish Pompeii, is an extraordinary prehistoric village located on the west coast of the mainland Orkney. This settlement, uncovered by a storm in 1850, is one of the best preserved groups of prehistoric houses in Western Europe. The village dates back to about 3180 BC, making it older than both Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids of Giza. The inhabitants of Scarabray lived in stone-built houses interconnected by covered passageways. These homes were partially subterranean, dug into mounds of pre-existing rubbish known as middens, which provided insulation from the harsh Orkney weather. Each house followed a similar layout, a central hearth, stone beds, and dressers made from slabs of stones, showcasing the resourcefulness of its builders. What's particularly fascinating about Scarabray is the insight it provides into the daily lives of its residents. The artifacts found here include tools, pottery, and jewelry, indicating a community with skilled craftsmanship and a degree of social organization. The presence of such personal items allows us to connect with the villagers on a human level, imagining their routines and societal structure. The preservation of Scarebray is remarkable. The houses feature built-in stone furniture, such as cupboards, seats, and even storage boxes, some of which may have been used to keep fish or other food fresh. These elements give us a vivid picture of life during the Neolithic period. Walking through this ancient village, you can't help but feel a sense of the continuity of the past. Despite its age, Scarabray's layout is surprisingly modern. The close-knit arrangement of the houses suggests a strong community bond, with shared spaces likely used for various communal activities. This advanced level of social organization and architectural ingenuity demonstrates the sophistication of the Neolithic society. Not far from Scarebray is the majestic Ring of Brodgar. This stone circle, consisting of 27 standing stones, originally had up to 60 stones arranged in a perfect circle. The Ring of Brodgar is part of a larger ceremonial landscape and is thought to have been used for rituals and gatherings. The sheer size and scale of these stones is awe-inspiring, and the panoramic views of the surrounding landscape make it a must visit. The purpose of these stone circles remains a mystery, but they likely played a significant role in the spiritual and communal life of the people who built them. The Ring of Brodgar is a powerful reminder of the cultural and religious practices that have shaped human history. Close to the Ring of Brodgar are the incredible stones of Stennis. These stones are some of the oldest in Britain, standing tall and proud against the Orkney sky. Originally, there may have been up to 12 stones arranged in an ellipse with a central hearth and other ceremonial features. The stones of Stennis are steeped in legend and mystery, adding to the atmosphere of the site. The size and craftsmanship of these stones are truly impressive. Each stone has its own character, weathered by thousands of years of exposure to the elements. Visiting the stones of Stennis offers a profound sense of connection, again, to the ancient people who erected these monuments and to the rich tapestry of history they represent. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Neolithic wonders of the Orkney Islands. We hope you found this adventure as inspiring as we did. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channels, and hit the bell icon to get notified of our next adventure. Until next time, happy travels.